We're off. We're gonna do the final things. I am so friggin' excited. Tomorrow we go from Victoria, BC, down to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. All right, here I am in, on Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, where we're about to take this boat to Mexico. Have you ever wanted to get out of the office and have an adventure? Well, I found my dream boat and I had no excuses left. Hi, my name is Daryl. Check out some of my wildest adventures. This is me, this is me, and this is me as well. After serving in the Canadian Coast Guard for years on boats just like this, I decided to buy my own and sail around the world. This channel is my passion project where I outfit my boats for extreme conditions and put them to the test. First up, Canada to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico in the stormy season. So stay tuned and subscribe as I embark on the worldwide dinghy ride. The last supper before we live off sandwiches and rice. So we cooked a nice meal for our last meal. We're leaving tomorrow morning. What are you worried about? Do you have any stresses? I'm worried that I'm underestimating the length, like the distance. <laughs> like if somebody said, let's take a dinghy from the top of New Zealand to the bottom of New Zealand, I would say no way. Like that's too far. I'm not interested in that. But now we're going from Canada, the whole length of USA. And I think I'm underestimating that distance. <laughs> I'm eating. Anyways, this is his last meal. Today is the big day we've been waiting for. So much prep work has happened. Tom's in Canada. I'm here. We've been working for days setting this boat up for this crazy adventure we're on. The adventure is called I Dream of Dinghy and the Worldwide Dinghy Ride. Now, listen up. This is no an ordinary ride. Today we launch the dinghy, Dinghy One Kenobi. And we're gonna launch Dinghy One Kenobi in Sydney, BC. We're probably gonna head over to Friday Harbor, clear customs, and then who knows what. So we're gonna make it all the way down to Puerto Vallarta, but the first step of this journey is to get me and Tom from Sydney, BC down to San Diego so we can meet up with Aubrey from Sailing Miss Lone Star. We're gonna race down the Baja Peninsula in dinghies, not dune buggies, and it's gonna be amazing. We're taking this boat and Highfield has sponsored us to take a high field patrol 600 down the coast of Baja. I can't even believe it. Thank you, Highfield, so much. Michael Carroll from Highfield, you've come through once again, and I can't wait to show you this journey, and I can't wait to share how awesome it's gonna be. So thanks again, Highfield, for the Highfield patrol 600 in San Diego. I can't wait to see the boat, yeah! We're gonna head across, we're gonna cross the border today, you know, get set up. We don't know if anything works really in the boat. I mean, we do, but we need to like give it a bit of a shakedown. We need to be very safe and cautious. We need to make sure that the thing is running perfectly. We've added so many cool things to it, but you know, we're gonna spend the day doing a shakedown, enjoying, testing. We're gonna try and get comfortable, that's a thing. That's what I do know. That's it guys, we're gonna go kick some butt. We have a six horse Merc here, and we built this awesome plate. This thing is solid aluminum. Anyways, that plate we put on, and this is the dinghy engine for the Tacacat I'll show you. This is our two stroke Evan Rude. We're gonna see how that takes us. I built that cage at the top, and we have Starlink and some extra supports. This is our kicker motor. Our kicker motor is supposed to be helping us troll for salmon at slow speeds. We don't need it, but um, I wanted to keep it as like a backup. Just, you know, what happens? A couple camping chairs. We got our fishing rods. We can't really set up our fishing rods yet until we get past the tree in my yard. There's our tacka cat, you guys. Look at that thing. We built this 
roof rack this week and it turned out okay. I dream of dinghy and the worldwide dinghy ride. And this is a steel plate, stainless. There's our barbecue and our cooler, but I'm gonna be moving that when I finish my organizing. That's the boat we're gonna take down to Puerto Vallarta today. Well, we won't make it today. That's a long way away. Guys, this is a serious trip. We have to get all the way down the coast of North America from Victoria, BC, actually Sydney, even farther. <laughs> Uh, I'm in Sydney right now. We have to get all the way down the coast to Puerto Vallarta, stopping along the way, checking out the adventure, and just having a blast with my buddy Tom. I met Tom on Parlay Revival. Uh, check them out here in the link. I went across the Panama Canal with them last year, and that was so amazing and so excited to go do something with them again. And we're gonna go kick some butt. Aubrey, I can't wait to meet you in San Diego. The Baja Peninsula race is on and it's coming so soon. Aubrey, I'm still gonna kick your butt and I can't wait. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get packing. Let's see how that goes. Just a quick spin at Precision Sales in Victoria, BC. Uh, just showing the team the boat and uh, now we're off to the boat launch, so let's roll! What do you say, Tom? Let's, say, let's go. You ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo! What do you think? This is epic, man. Yeah? We're gonna have such a great time. This is cool. Do you think we're gonna make it? Oh, you'll make it. It's just how quickly. <laughs> Alright. I've had this one thing question. Do you think we're gonna kick Aubrey's ass or not? Um, I've been in a dinghy with you before. I know you can go fast. Aubrey, she's more of a six and a half knot kind of girl, so I don't think she's gonna be able to keep up. <laughs> you hear that, Aubrey? I'm coming for you. <laughs> don't mess with me. Let's go do this. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Let's go see the boat. It's at the dock. Finally, I got a ride here and we're off. This is the last call. Are you excited, Tom? Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's cold. What do you say? Say so we're ready. Yeah? Let's go to Mexico. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so gear. We have quite a bit going on. Let me just show you here. Um, we're set up, we're a little heavy, we're not really sure how it's gonna go, but uh, that's what we're gonna find out pretty darn soon. Our anchor is in our old Takakat bag. We do have uh, dive weights down there, outdoor storage, um, dock plugs, all of that good stuff. Up top, we've got our Takakat dinghy strapped down to our new roof rack. Our Dry bags are laying on the back deck. We've got our extra gas, barbecue, dinghy motor. We're set to go. Let's do this. How are you feeling? Good now. Good and we're on the boat? Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't envision envisage. Envisage? Is it is it envision or envisage? It's envision. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't envision this happening. Um when we were in your driveway on the boat, you know, doing the work and you know, you asked me a few times, are you excited? You know, it's like, yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't real. You know, it wasn't really real for me. But um, now we're on the boat in the water and now it's real. And it's actually more comfortable than I was. Um, <laughs> like, I know we only just got in the water. We've only got in the water, moved like 300 meters to the fuel dock. And now we're, you know, so we've only gone 300 meters. So, um, uh, maybe I'm saying this a little more, a little prematurely, because we got 
about 2,500 miles to go. <laughs> but uh, uh, right, now, <laughs> right now, I'm comfortable. I mean, we sit pretty close to each other. But if we were both going to lean back, this is, you know. That's why I brought them. Cool. <laughs> it's a good thing we get along. 3,000 miles away, ask us again. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting along for now. Tom might need to be walking across the border because he's totally allowed to go across it's just on the boat so yeah. if that's an issue we're going to go backwards on our 2500 but it's more like three <laughs> we're going to go backwards on our thing and head to vancouver i'm going to drop him off he's going to catch an uber to the border walk across and i'll meet him a couple hours later on the other side that's the backup plan but who knows? Maybe I'll find someone else along the way. Find someone else. But when you're at customs, why not go without me? Well, I don't know. If she's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian, you didn't hear that. I was joking. Whew. I met Tom in Panama um, on Parlay Revival. He's been there a couple years. I met Tom. And from like the moment I got on board, we just kind of connected and became friends. So I'm super pumped that he's up here in Victoria or Sydney, BC, and uh, gonna do this trip with me. I'm so pumped that he came up here and uh, gave it a chance. I'm pumped to be here. Let's do this. Let's go. Couple of spare jerry cans. All of our food is in this side. Right now, we've got our dishes in there. And some gas, lots of fishing rods, and Starlink, of course. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> All right, folks, we're kicking things off the worldwide dinghy ride. This is it. So we're gonna be leaving Sydney, British Columbia, Canada. We're gonna head straight for the San Juan Islands while crossing the US border. We're gonna do a quick stop in Roche Harbor before heading down to the east side of the San Juan Islands where we'll spend the night in Friday Harbor. Roche Harbor is absolutely amazing. I have spent at least 20 years celebrating the 4th of July in Roche Harbor. It's my favorite place to go. They have log rolling, donut eating contests, color ceremony every single evening where they lower the flag. It's unreal, check it out. And if you're an outdoor enthusiast, we have the McMillan Mausoleum and Garrison Bay has a little hike right to the top of the hill. It's a great way to spend the day. Check it out, the San Juan Islands are amazing. We got through customs. Man, is that stressful. We had everything organized and it still was, oh. Anyways, we got it, we got Tom in, we got the boat in, uh, the letter that we had worked wonderful. Now we're gonna go grab a bite to eat and we're gonna go to Roche Harbor and spend the night on the big town of Roche Harbor. After that, who knows, stay tuned. Thomas, let's get some food, buddy. After clearing customs in Roche Harbor, we're gonna head up into Spiden Channel towards the east coast of the San Juan Island. Passing Limestone Point, we're gonna head southeast directly to Friday Harbor, where we'll run the coast, passing Shaw and Orcas Island along the way. It's gonna be an amazing run, I'm so excited. If you haven't been to Friday Harbor, you have to check it out. In the summer, the tourism is booming. There's endless pubs to go to, cool stores, and the best seafood around. Don't forget, check out Friday Harbor. It's freezing cold. It's really cold. What? <laughs> We're in Friday Harbor. We might go see a movie. Do you want to see a movie? What? No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. Really? We're just going to go for a bite to eat. Check out the town. Yeah, man. We're going to the pub. And the King's Market is one of the best.
right, here we are, end of day one. We're here at Friday Harbour. Yeah, San Juan Beautiful. Islands. San Juan Islands. <laughs> Beautiful little town. We didn't do any filming there, but it's a uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little town, a little quaint. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous about? This is the first night in the bed. Oh, yeah. I don't know what he's like. I'm safe. I'm good. <laughs> 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 but anyway, hey, cheers for watching day one. Uh, tune in next time. Cheers, guys. <laughs>